Hey guys, today I'm showing you how to gut load insects. So, um, you can do this with mealworms, crickets, or, um, dubia roaches, and it can be used with all sorts of reptiles, mostly lizards, like skinks, leopard geckos, crested geckos, bearded dragons. This is going to be for my bearded dragon, and, um, you'll get to see him eat some of them at the end. But, um, so what you're going to need is a container to put them in, and you don't need this fancy $5 aquarium from PetSmart. Um, you can just have anything that has a lid, really. Like, um, even if you had, like, an empty 10 gallon, you could do it in that. And so, you're going to need your, your insects. And then you're going to want your calcium. Um, which is why we're doing this all together. Um, the insects will eat the vitamins and then it will be passed through to your to your um, reptile and it's very very healthy for them and it's just a good way to do it and um, what else all right you're going to need like if you have pellets for your animals you can use some of that um, you're going to want a water bottle to hydrate the insects and you're going to want some vegetables I have carrots you can use bell pepper apple um, even like the core that you ate for lunch. So yeah, let's get started. So just open this up first. Just keep that open. And then this part is a little tricky. You're going to open it up. And just shake all the crickets out into it. You can't see it because it's out of frame, but they're getting in there. Here. There, you can see them. And then just get all the crickets out. You can put the little cardboard thing in there too. It's not going to like do anything. And um, the reason why you do this is um, at least the Petco that the the store that I go to, they are already pre-packaged, which mean which means that they haven't eaten or drank in in a while. Sometimes they'll have like little moisture gels so that they just don't die. But there's nothing really healthy in there for them. So first. You can spritz it down, and that made everything a little foggy now. But now they can um, they can drink the water droplets and get some moisture, which is very very good. You can see that they all stopped to drink, which is a good sign. And then you can get some of your pellets. Here, I'm just going to use the calcium lid for this. Set that off to the side. Use the little lid. And you just put... These are actually turtle pellets. These aren't even bearded dragon pellets. Um, I had a turtle a long, long time ago. And that's why I still have these. I'm out of pellets. I usually feed my dragon very fresh food. But for these, it'll be okay. Then you just sprinkle some of that calcium on there. Do that. This will get on your fingers, but it won't like stain anything or anything. Don't don't worry about that. And then can spritz it once. That got on my blanket. I don't really care though. Here. There. That's good. And then just put it in there. And they'll chew on those for a little while. And now you're going to want your vegetables. This is what has the most um, vitamins in it, other than the calcium. You don't need to get it organic or anything. Um, some people say that it needs to be organic or it'll kill your lizard or something. But it's not even being fed directly to your lizard. So I think it it's really fine. You don't need to spend $10 on some carrots that you're just going to be feeding to cr to crickets, okay? And, um, you can break these up. I should have broken them up before the video, so I'll be back. Just for this, um, this should be enough. I didn't even, like, um, cut it. I, I just used scissors to cut it up, like kitchen scissors. So, yeah, um, the crickets, as you can see, like, compared to my finger, they're, like, medium to large. And I don't know if you can see that, but... 
the crickets are already eating the um the turtle food that I put in there, and now you just sprinkle a lot of calcium on that actually. Just get it all around so that they'll be sure to eat some of it. And dump it in there. Get the last few pieces. Um if you're going if you bought it in bulk, you're obviously you bought um insects in bulk, you're obviously going to need to get a bit more food in a larger container, like some places you can buy crickets in bulk of like a thousand, which is crazy. I mean, you would need to be like a breeder to be doing that, but you would just close the lid and leave them in there for a few minutes. But for this, the purposes of this video, I'm going to leave it like this so that you all can watch them eat if they don't get out. Is that one just tried? I don't think they'll be able to. Or maybe they will. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> maybe they will. Do that. Prop it up with the calcium. Um, I don't know if any of you can see it, but this cricket right there and that cricket right there. Oh, he's not doing it anymore. Um, maybe some crickets on the bottom. Oh, I guess I didn't get that many this time. Are they on the... Yeah, I think some of them are on the back. Anyway, um, that one just was eating. And then I'm going to spritz it one more time, actually. And one jumped right onto my hand. I'm not scared of bugs, so that's okay. But um, if you weren't doing a video on this, you would have the lid closed, obviously. Or else, you know would get everywhere, but as you can see, they're all just hanging out, except for that one that just crawled onto me. They're all hanging out, getting water, eating food, life is good, until a couple minutes later after this. But, um, yeah, you just leave them in there for about 15 minutes, and then they're perfectly fine to give to your lizard or reptile. Reptile. So, it's been about 10 minutes, and some observations I've made, actually, this is not closed, but, um, um, they're all just kind of hanging out. Um, also, I think I sprayed the sides too much. They, their antennas are, like, sticking to it, but it's not like we need to keep them in pristine condition, so that's not that much, much of a big deal. But, um, I noticed that all of them are eating the carrots more than the pellets, which is fine because I put more calcium on the, that, but, um... I also noticed that the smaller ones are not eating as much. I don't know. That's just these crickets, I guess. But um, I also noticed that they are eating the cardboard, which I think it's because I sprayed that pretty heavily. And so that's good that they're getting moisture from that. So I'll check back with you in about another five minutes, and then we will, you will get to see them being fed to my dragon. Okay, guys, so it's been about 20 minutes now, and, um, for the purposes of this video, um, I'm going to be taking each one of them out and putting them in a 10-gallon tank I just bought. It's completely empty. It wasn't just for this video, so don't worry. Um, Fred is about to come into shot, so don't be startled when he does. Um, he's shedding. It's precious. Oh, cutie. Okay, I'll just put him right here. He'll probably look at the crickets and be trying to eat them through the glass yeah he is um so i have a 10 gallon tank rest assured he lives in a 40 gallon tank so this is not his usual tank it's, it, it still has the sticker on it even um i just thought i could use it for a feeding video so um yeah hold on freddy so if you obviously weren't doing this for a youtube video you could just take off the lid set the thing in here sideways like that with it open and take your reptile out and um just just hang out with them for a little while while all the crickets just gradually get out into the tank and what I do during feedings because um the crickets will hide in Fred's like logs and under things and all that oh and one just got out 
In you go. Um, I will take out all of his logs. He sees them already. He's getting hungry. I will take out all of his logs so that they can't hide in there. And it is easier for him to hunt. He's freaking out over here. Here, hold on, Fred. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to transfer all of them, the crickets in there, and then you're going to watch him feed. So I decided actually to just put in five so that I can do a separate feeding video for you guys. But Fred is very anxious, so I'm not going to let him down. He's going to get to eat his crickets. There go, Freddy. And some of his tail just came off from the shed. <laughs> He just ate one when the camera fell. I'm sorry. Here. A good close up on him. Come on, Fred. You see that cricket? You see him? Get him. Get him. There you go. Good boy. They're behind you. Get him. They're behind you, Freddy. Find him. Find him, boy. Find him, Freddy. Come on. They're back there. Come on, they're back there. Turn around. Whoa. Oh. You can do it. I know you can turn around in there. I checked before this video. See my bookshelf back there. The camera's down. Come on, Freddy. You can get him. Get him, Freddy. Get him. Oh, I was just about to help him turn around. Let the viewers see. Oh, uh, they missed it. Crud. Come on, Fred. Get there. Did you see that one, bud? Right there, yeah. You see him? Yeah. Was that the last one? <gasps> it escaped the clutches of death. And then it did. Oh, it's underneath him. What the heck? I didn't, I don't, I didn't sign up for this. Right, get off. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any video suggestions, they're all gone, Freddy. If you have any video suggestions, please leave them down in the comment section below, and I will see all of you guys later. Bye!